Each and every one of us at at least one point or another in our lives have thought about becoming an actor. We've imagined being the focal point of a camera with millions of eyes all around the world focused on just us. We've dreamed of walking up that stage to accept the reputable Grammy Award while the hands of our idols clap for just us. Standing behind that podium while that great big light shines down on just us. But what we always fail to account for is that wherever there is a light, there's also a shadow. No matter who your favorite actor or actress is, every big name in the film industry has a shadow lurking behind them. Whether it be at the sacrifices they have made to get into the spotlight or the betrayals of loved ones that they have committed. And in some cases, it can even be an actor's own role. Today, we'll be taking a look at the rise of former actress Shelley Duvall and how the filming of The Shining ultimately led to her current fragile mental state. Shelley Duvall was born in 1949 on July 7th in Fort Worth, Texas. In a 2012 interview, she described her younger self as artistic and full of energy. According to uh, biography.com, she participated in her high school theater program and she played in a handful of school plays. But her rise to stardom began in with her 1974 film, Thieves Like Us. Then she went on to appear in the 1977 film, Three Women, where she won two Best Actress Awards out of five nominations, according to imdb.com. She also played in Popeye alongside actor Robin Williams as Olive Oil. Uh, director of the movie, Robert Altman, had even told Duvall that she was born to play the role of Olive Oil. Shelley Duvall's career was booming, and it could only seem like it can improve from there. In 1980, Shelley Duvall was called to play Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. The movie would be based on the 1977 novel The Shining by Stephen King about a struggling writer who slowly turns into a homicidal maniac under the influence of a sinister presence. Uh, Shelley Duvall would play the wife of the writer who is played by Jack Nicholson. She would have to undergo playing the victim of Nicholson's violent acts. The filming process was very hard for both Duvall and Nicholson. In fact, according to CheatSheet.com, Nicholson was only allowed to eat cheese sandwiches for the entire 56 week filming process. But that does not come close to what Duval had to endure. According to Far Out Magazine, director Stanley Kubrick would uh, command other actors to show no sympathy for Duval during her scenes, even going as far as to forbid them from even talking to her offset. Duval had been completely isolated. In a oh. Uh, the infamous baseball bat scene had taken a record-breaking amount of 127 takes, leaving Duval, Duval with hoarse throat, uh, raw wounded hands, and severe dehydration. In a recent interview in February of 2021 with uh, People Magazine, uh, Duval had this to say. To wake up on a Monday morning so early and realize you have to cry all day because it was scheduled, I would just start crying. In a 1980 interview with movie critic Roger Ebert, Duval also said this, and I quote, going through day after day of excruciating work was almost unbearable. I had to cry 12 hours a day all day long the last nine months straight for five, six days a week. After all that work, hardly anyone recognized my performance. Even to mention it, it seemed like all the reviews were about Kubrick, like I wasn't even there at all. We wouldn't hear from Duval for a oh. Duval had only appeared in a handful of movies after The Shining before she disappeared from Hollywood forever. We wouldn't hear from Duval for almost 10 years until she appeared in a 2016 televised interview with television personality Phil McGraw. To say the least, Duval did not seem like herself. In the interview, she claimed that Robin Williams was still alive, but he was just a shapeshifter. In fact, she didn't make much sense at all during the interview. Often getting off track what she was trying to say, she was having a very difficult time tying together sentences. 
Uh, Phil McGrawbetter, known as Dr. Phil, received lots of backlash for the interview with many people saying that it was in no way helping with Duval's mental health. Vivian Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick's daughter, even commented on the interview saying that it had nothing to do with compassionate healing. Uh, the interview was eventually taken off air and it is very difficult to find the full interview on the internet. Duval did comment on the, on the interview two years later in 2018. She said, I found out the kind of person he is the hard way. My mother didn't like him either. A lot of people like Dan, who was her, uh, who is her husband at the time, said you shouldn't have done that, Shelley. Now, before we get into where Shelley Duvall is today, let's take a look at what we've seen so far. We looked at the rise of the stardom of Shelley Duvall and how the filming of The Shining affected her mental health. As of today, Shelley Duvall lives in Texas. She lives in a quiet residential area, spending her time chatting with neighbors. She lives with former musician Dan Gilroy, and the two have been together since 1989. Although Shelley Duvall has had some troubles with her mental health and past, it seems as though that she's writing herself a happy ending. Thank you. <laughs>